Hi and welcome YouTube viewers to my horrible YouTube installation page for anything Jeep. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to do a, a really quick uh, install how-to video on like painting a, a diff cover from Poison Spider. Uh, what I did is I had one from the front which I took pictures but I didn't do any, any videos at all. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this Poison Spider Dana 44 diff cover and if you can see here, there's a really nice spider that's uh, that's on the sucker that you don't really see though. That's all black powder coated, right? The spider shell armor. Um, I'm just going to paint this uh, this whole spider silver, so you can actually see it. It looks really good on the front diff. You can see it a mile away. It looks really awesome. So I'll do it on the back one here. Uh, it's really really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to use just your regular paint brushes, right? I'm going to use one for the silver. So I'm going to paint the, the my, my spider silver. I'm just going to use this Krylon stuff. It's from metal and plastics and whatever. It works, works fine. Did it with my last one. It worked out fine. And then what you do is then if you have any kind of like a... Because I'm a horrible painter. Uh, you're going to get stuff maybe over where you don't want it. No worries. Take your black Krylon paint. After you're done, after this, the, the spider is all dried, you go back and you touch it up with the black. So any silver spots you got all over it, use a little black on it and no one will see the difference. It'll still turn out awesome. So bear with me and we'll try and get this done together. Also, this is the first time I'm using a tripod. <laughs> Every one of their YouTube videos looks professional. Mine always look horrible. I'm sure you can't hear me very well because I'm in my garage using my wife's amazing freezer as my, as my stand. Hopefully she doesn't see this video and just get mad that I'm spray painting on top of it. Anyways, enjoy it. I hope this helps. Uh, I've helped some of the other viewers out there. I didn't even think I would. But apparently I have, so uh, please feel free to comment, subscribe, write horrible messages, whatever you want. Anyways, uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, let's try and get this done. Alright, <clears throat> so here we go. I am going to spray a little bit of this spray paint just on this here, so I can actually use it for... My paintbrushes. Shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go. Maybe I'll play music or speed it up during this part. Okay. All right. There we go. Getting my paintbrush. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This doesn't have to be like a great art thing. You don't have to be amazing at it. Honestly, this is exactly what I did with my front. And for my other videos, I don't know if you've seen them or not, you can actually see the front diff. And it actually looks alright. Gotta do a couple of uh, couple of um, coats to make it look really good. But just gotta keep doing it. It actually looks really good. Okay, so it's a different angle. Uh, again, just uh, time consuming a little bit, right? Because you're just painstakingly here, just kind of painting it away. For some of you, like I said, who are married, this might be actually kind of fun because you're just kind of just chilling, painting away here like you did when you were in high school or whatever. Uh, all right. Let's so just continue on here. And again, you're going to use probably a couple coats here, so the silver really pops. I'm using like a really neat, like a, kind of like a metallic kind of coloring to it with the Krylon, right? So it kind of looks more like metal, more hardcore. That's right, a hardcore painted diff cover.
and with this, I know a lot of guys are probably sanded or whatever. It's just the starting of it. Um, but for my last one, I didn't even sand it or nothing. I just painted over top of the, the powder coat. And honestly, it still holds up. It went through a whole winter up here in Canada. And it was fine. I'll get some more video in, in a bit. I need to see more, so I'm going to open this garage door so I can get the sunlight in here. Alright, so this is the uh, first coat of paint. It's the next day. Um, not too bad. Still a couple spots um, where I need to get her done. Like, see, I was telling you about little spots like that that you might go over just a touch. Again, that's the black Krylon comes into play. We just spray that and we, uh, we hit those little spots. They only had like one, maybe, yeah, like one over here. Just gotta go over top of that one, one over here as well. So a couple spots, do with black paint. It'll look good. Ugh. It's hard to lift this up with one hand. There we go. Yeah, so not bad. See, that's just paintbrush, right? You don't have to go crazy with it. Some people take these out and get professional guys to paint them or whatever. Just paintbrush, a little bit of paint. Two coats. This is one coat, like I said, you can kind of see through it in some of the spots. So, I mean, some people might like this and be like, ah, that's fine. But I'm going to do two coats, make it look pretty. So when I destroy it and get it all destroyed, well, whatever. <laughs> so, this is what the front looks like over like a whole season. It's a little charred up a little bit. But not much. And again, I did the exact same process that you saw me doing yesterday. So again, once it's done, it should look like that. It'd be pretty cool. Let's hope. Anyway, there we go. Okay, so almost done the Poison Spider Dana 44 diff cover. Um, so basically, I've now done a second coat of silver on the spider. So it pops really good, and I'll show you that as well. Um, now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my black. Uh, paint here just to touch up any of the imperfections I did while doing the uh, the silver on top There's a couple of spots where it kind of dripped onto the onto the black So I'm just gonna go by with this uh, this paintbrush and just kind of paint off those uh, silver parts black And you won't even notice it'll look really good So I'll show you with the camera just some spots that I got a little bit of silver So I'll show you what it looks like before and then I'll show you what it looks like after awesome. Okay, so here's like the first little spot right here so I'm going to use this here and I'll put black there. There's a spot here and I'll put black there. Over here I'll just put a little bit of black there as well. Just a couple of spots as you can see. Right here. It's hard to do this with the camera so. Over in here I'll do that. And that was pretty much just the only little spots I got. So once I finish that. I'll kind of give you a really good idea of what it looks like when it's done. Cool. All right, so we're going to prepare the black paint here, spray it on there, and then uh, finish it up. pretty good so far I think so we'll let that dry and then that's it okay so that's the diff cover all done up again like I said it turned out pretty good this is the paintbrush with silver I'm for a rock and roll it looks pretty good not too bad some of the blemishes that I got with the silver I just took out with the black paintbrush. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good for being underneath the Jeep. It'll do its job. And that is the diff cover installed. Painted up like we showed you, or what I showed you from before. Oh, it looks pretty good, I think. Turned out not bad.